previously. It's Versal so quiz! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! On Progression Series Season 2. We did it! Oh, it took long enough. What is oh this bozo ass god. shit you're playing, bro? Had I won with this, you were never gonna get oh the Oh my god, so I know, bro. It. It <laughs> I would've been embarrassed. It. The fact we took it to Game 3 was good enough for me. The Prism Man coming in with a playset. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing Introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot tell you how good it feels to be sitting in this location again. The winner's circle! I never thought I'd return. The SEMO slaughtering spree has officially come to an end. I'm looking to reclaim my throne in the winner's seat and hopefully not let Alex keep his lead in Progression Series Season 2. But first, we gotta spin the wheel, see what we can grab today. Honestly, man, it's been so long, anything on the wheel is good for me. Let's give it a couple clicks, see what I can nab for today. I want a starlight. Could you imagine letting me pick up Thousand Eyes Restrict for today? You gotta be fucking kidding me. For the first time in the wheel's history, I'm gonna elect to take nothing with my wildcard common. But there's nothing in Dola's pack one! That's good! I don't know why I deserve this. Let's get into the Shadow of Infinity. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to win on raw skill alone and 24 packs of Shadow Wave Infinity. Let's see if I can get anything good from our packs today. So, uh, maybe went a bit too extreme in the jank department last episode. Uh, I will say we did take it to game three. If we were lucky enough to get the combo like we did in the first two games, Gage didn't have IO, so we could have maybe won. And to be fair, had we won with that deck, you guys in the comment section would have never, ever let him live that one down. So we're in the loser circle. It is what it is. Shadow of Infinity was released on February 18th, 2006. And just like GX, this set is as terrible as ever. Only four slots in the ultra rare slot. All of them are completely useless by progression series standards. Maybe Uriah might be playable, but that is a stretch and a half. I think what we're most looking for is the rares. As a matter of fact, the super rares are equally as bad demise being the best one. And I actually have an incredibly strong ritual package. So if we pull this, we will be playing this in a later episode because we need advanced ritual art out of strike of Neos, I believe. And if we don't have that, the deck doesn't really come together. But this is the making of Demise OTK, so if we can pull some copies of Demise, I'll be hyped. Strangely enough, I think the rares are actually the most exciting part about this set. We have Chainsaw Insect for Skill Drain Beatdown, Doomdozer is fantastic to pair with our Demise, but even by itself, Doomdozer is still like an okay card. Treeborn Frog is fantastic for any tribute-focused deck. Gage has access to Monarchs, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's iffy because he doesn't have access to that many of them. I wish I could pull Monarchs. I think maybe TP8 has all of them in common. Karma Cut is also a fantastic rare. It's just basically Phoenix Win Win Blast, except it banishes the monster, which means effects won't trigger like Sangen and the like. The rares are probably some of the best cards in the set. And then looking at the commons, there really isn't anything in here that's really worth discussing. Everything in here is too niche or we just don't have the card pool to be able to support it. So, I mean, rare through super rare is like fine, but honestly, that's going to be it. But before we get into the opening, we get to open some TP7. Gage actually got some pretty solid cards out of here last episode. So let's see if we can do the same thing. And yes, we can last will. You know what? If this is going to be the only TP7 pack I open, I'm happy I pulled probably the best card in the set, Sans like Breaker, because last will is crazy for a myriad of reasons. Let's open the other two packs, though. This is really exciting. Pack two, a second last will. The problem is last will is limited, so we're not going to be able to play multiple. I'm pretty sure it's limited. I'm going to have to check that. Pack number three. Come on, give me Breaker, preferably, please. 
Uh, uh, skilled white magicians are okay for like chaos aggro, but like that's really it. I think we have better cards now anyway. So last one going to the collection, we've got 24 packs of Shadow of Infinity to open, so let's get cracking. Ooh, a super rare cyber barrier dragon. As a kid, this was one of my favorite cards. Never would summon it, never probably could, but I liked it. Oh, we can't summon it in our series either. We don't have Cyber Dragon. That's kind of funny. But Uriah! I'm not going to be able to summon him either. He's kind of cool, though. Uriah, Lord of the Searing Flames, the Sacred Beast, man. What a lovely guy. You got a tribute. Three face-up trap cards you control, the continuous traps. And then uh, once per turn, you can pop a spell trap card. Um, can't chain to it. He's like okay at best. No, he's, he's kind of bad, actually. He's really not good. Demise! Whoa! Demise! King of the Armageddon! Jesus, that's a really good one. You can Ritual Summon him, pay 2,000, Judgment, Dragon, the Field. Wow! I'm so stoked to get one of these, man. That's awesome! Demise, King of Armageddon. Bro, maybe we can build some sick Demise deck with it. We'll have to take a look at what we got. All right, 24 packs, Shadow of Infinity. I think I would really like to get all of the aforementioned rares and Demise. If we can pull two Demise, I think I will try to play that deck in the future. First pack, flip them up, uh, nothing too great. Well, there's a Karma Cut. I think I'm more excited about that than I am the Divine Dragon Excelion. This is a Shining Angel target, I guess, but I'm not playing it. This would have been a super rare and could have been Demise. Well, speaking of super rares, there's another one back to back, Ancient Gear Castle, another one that's going in the collection. Okay, well, if we're gonna get a rare from the set, Treeborn Frog's pretty good. Again, I don't have a ton of good tribute fodder for this card, but it's still nice to have. Okay, three super rares, potentially. Uh, there's Cyber Barrier Dragon. I'm happy we're not seeing duplicates yet, otherwise I would be even more infuriated. <laughs> Okay, uh, ultra rare Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. I did say that this is one of the playable sacred beasts, but I didn't actually mean I wanted to play it. Oh, Treeborn Frog. Of course, wanted to get one copy of those. Very, very big pickup for the frog monarch format that we can enter with this. And BES covered core is a card. Oh, the Doom Dozer, man. Perfectly awesome in those uh, in those B troopers later on. Lovely rare to get in the Shadow of Infinity. We'll definitely add them to the collection there. Ultimate rare, adhesive explosive. I have nothing to say about that. Second Treeborn Frog, I think we'd probably only play one of it anyway, but I guess the second one's okay until it gets limited. No, that's the wrong ritual. It's ruined. We were so close. I guess to be fair, we needed multiple demise. So like, I guess if we got one demise and then won this episode, spun a super rare wild card on the wheel for winning, that gives us two demise. So, oh my God, that could have been demise. Second Ancient Gear Castle. All right, now we can start fuming about the super rare duplicates. Uh, Chainsaw Insect, I'm happy to see though. This is very strong in Skill Drain Beatdown, which we do have access to play, and I might play this round. Okay, second Chainsaw Insect. That's making that decision a lot easier. We still have eight packs to go. If we can get another Chainsaw Insect, I think we're locking that in for sure. All right, last few packs, Shadow of Infinity. Up. Oh. A Ruin, Queen of Oblivion. Well, we got both of the uh, <laughs> both the ritual monsters of the set there. Ruin is very not good, but Demise is super strong. So um, I might be able to play Demise in some sort of strategy. I know I'm missing Karma Cut's a really big rare card to pick up. I know I'm missing uh, Dekoichis and stuff that would normally be filing their way in the deck, but maybe we can make something work with it. Last two packs, anything big in the close here. Come on. No, I got one Karma Cut, it looks like, and I got the Demise. Uh, I'd like to get more Karma Cuts, but again, it's nothing that's going to make me reroll. More than enough End of the Worlds. Let's see what we got going on today. All right, only a few packs left of Shadow of Infinity. Uh, no Demise. Uh, we have two Chainsaw Insect, no Doom Dozer, so Demise OTK is probably off the table, sadly. But there is still hope. I would like to get a third Chainsaw Insect at the very least. We also secure a Treeborn Frog. I think the other card I would like is a second Karma Cut at the very least. These are rares, second Excelion. I guess technically, because I have two Excelion, I can use their effect because they require having multiple Excelions. So there's that. And one of them is ultimate, whatever. All right, second to last pack. Okay, second Cyber Barrier Dragon. So I pulled two Cyber Barrier, two Ancient Gear Castle, two uh, Excelion, although one was ulti, but Demise can also come ulti. So I guess it's not exactly the same. And one Ruin. Let's not forget that. All right, last pack. Can we just end on something good? Damage Condenser. I mean, I don't 
don't know if we're gonna play Damage Condenser, but to be fair, this is probably the best super rare behind Demise, so I should be fuming, but at least this card is playable. Okay, um, we're probably locking this in. I don't think we're gonna respin just to get Demise because that seems rather foolish. There's also a chance we just don't get Treeborn Frog again, and I think that would be a disaster. So we're gonna lock it in. It's Shadow of Infinity, so it's not the worst, and uh, we're just gonna get to deck building. Let's see what we can come up with. Feeling really good about our last win with the Pac-Man, but I don't think it's a strategy we can stick with. I think mean, it's a gimmick we gotta use every now and again, but I'd like to go back to just a generically good deck, and that's why we're gonna be looking back at Chaos today. I don't think Alex is gonna double up on a stall strategy. I don't think it worked too well for him this time. I have a feeling he's gonna look at something in Shadow of Infinity, maybe a card like Treeborn Frog, and try to capitalize on it building some sort of Monarch deck. Uh, he has a tendency to want to play new cards in the set, so maybe he'll try that out. Um, if anything, I still think this is just generically the best deck that is going to be able to give us uh, the most, the best opportunity to win, honestly. Uh, hopefully we can see Chaos Sorcerer this time around. It's been a few times since we haven't seen him, but I'm still super confident that if we can see Chaos Sorcerer pair it with a Cold Wave or like a Hey Trunade to stick it on the board, we can start controlling the game and really putting it in our favor. We've had a severe lack of monsters that actually do anything in the deck, but Breaker is a huge addition to it. Spear Reaper finds his way in there as well. Um, I'm feeling there's a lot of really good dudes that we have just put in the deck here. I, I, I think it's looking good. Hopefully we don't lose this one. Let's get ourselves on a winning streak. Let's see what Alex is up to. If I know Gage, I feel like he's going to want to run back the same deck he played in the previous episode, just because he never really had the chance to try it against a real deck. And he may be trying to double bluff me into thinking that he might play something else. So we're going to bring the dragons back for another run. The reason for this is because we get to play several copies of MST in the form of Stamping Destruction. We know he has all these stupid floodgates and our dragon monsters are going to tear him to shreds. We also, since last time, pulled a second copy of Spear Dragon out of the reprint packs, and we also pulled a Twin-Headed Behemoth as well. So our dragon count has gotten a little bit better. Obviously, you know, there are some dragons here that are questionable, but these are the best dragons that are in the game at the time. And unfortunately, although it's not a dragon, Gage did ban Cyber Dragon last episode. That would have been a fantastic card for an aggro deck like this. So we're playing Dragon Aggro. Let's go ahead and do the card by card. We got two Arm Dragon level three and two Arm level five. We're trying to get into this because 2400, basically a monarch and it can pop monsters, which is fantastic. We have two element dragon. I cut down on this because this card is kind of iffy, but this card can actually be an all-star in the right circumstances. Triple mass dragon. We're going to use this to float into arm dragon level three. Level up during the standby phase. We get our big dude. Then we have triple mirage dragon. If Gage is on the same deck he was before, mirage dragon is not going to do a ton, but it is a dragon. And if Gage is playing something that does play real traps, this card is going to put in a bit of work. 1600 is also a decent stat line. Sand gang can search about half of this deck. We have two spear dragon, which is fantastic because if Gage is playing all those tiny monsters like Lakuda and Swarm of Locusts, Swarm of Scarabs, Spear Dragon is going to eat them alive. We have a Twin Headed Behemoth, Triple Luster Dragon, just 1900 beats, and that's it for the monster spells. Brain Control's in here because it's an aggro card and we can sack a monster for Arm Dragon level five. Probably not that good against Pac-Man if that's what he's playing, so I might side this out if he isn't playing something different. Confi's good to just rip the worst card out of his hand. Dark Hole and True Nade, of course. Triple My Body to protect all of our dudes because we're trying to end the game as fast as possible. Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, Triple Stamping Destruction, and then the Traps come Pulse. I've explained this before. We don't have Nobleman of Cross out because we didn't pull it. This sort of serves the same function where if Gage just sets a monster and passes, it doesn't kill the monster, but if we have game, we can compulse the set and just attack for game like that. So that's why I'm playing these. Double Dust Tornado again for the back row. Same thing for IO. I'm main decking two Raigeki Break as well. I'm not messing around. I think he's on the Pac-Man deck. So I want to have even more cards that are going to effectively act as removal. Raigeki Break's nice because it can be MST, but it can also just be like a Nobleman of Cross out in that regard as well. And Ring of Destruction rounding out our 40 card deck. The side deck, Jinzo's in here in case he is on that same deck. I don't want to main deck it though because Jinzo is sort of a dead draw when we want to have as much gas as possible. Double Mystic Swordsman level two, we're most likely going to bring these in if he is on Pac-Man. Cold Wave's in here as well. It's just basically another true nade. Double Creature Swap. In the instance he isn't on a slower deck, Creature Swap's pretty good because we can give up like an Arm Dragon level three for like his best card. Double Smashing Ground and Triple Saku if we need even more monster removal. Third Regeki Break if we need more spell and trap removal. Couldn't figure out a way to put this in the main deck. I guess we could have gone with 41 and triple skill drain again if he's on the pac-man deck we can bring this in it does stop our ability for spear dragon to pierce but that doesn't matter if he can't use his flip effects to do anything i think we're pretty favored in that position so guys i can't wait to see what gage brought i want the dragons to wreak havoc once more because this deck is upgraded it's ready to go so ladies and gentlemen let's not make you wait any longer it's time to duel
So, buddy, you must be enjoying uh, having access to the wheel again. How's it feel? Feels good, man. Feels good to be able to spin that thing once again, dude. Let me tell you, without a shadow of a doubt, I am going to crush you this episode. Infinitely? So you good. want to get the infinity part in there as well? Yeah, yeah. I, I got half of it. It's good enough, man. Good enough of a pun. We haven't had much puns this season. We haven't. Now, I feel like <laughs> we like exhausted the puns in the first season, so if people are that desperate, they can go watch the first season, because that was hey, bad. Us, it was let terrible. Us if, <laughs> let us know if you want to see more puns in these episodes. I feel like it was something that we're missing now. Gage will, I know Gage will oblige to do all the puns for this season, because last time I put in minimal effort, I'm sure he will go all out to appease all of you fans, but... <laughs> I uh, volunteer is true. <laughs> Shadow of Infinity, though, it's a GX set. There, like, there's, a, there's like three good cards, potentially. Eventually, we're going to get to some good sets, and I think one of them is actually right around the corner, but this set, eh, it's all right. Yeah, you got the Sacred Beasts, which are, of course, iconic. Some of the most gorgeous ultimate rares and some yes. of the hardest to find in near mint condition, but they sure. are definitely, like, it, it's a really cool set, you know? Treeborn Frog and stuff. Doom Dozer is good for the bee troopers later. Um, I don't know. Demise, King of the Armageddon? Yeah. I know that's one of your favorite guys, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. We're I, I have an insanely good ritual package, so I will tell you right now, oh. if I have the components for that deck, I will be playing it. So with that said, let's go ahead and shout the patron. It is Val Giordino. Thank you for the support. Let's go ahead and see. Okay. Okay. Man, I'm on a losing streak with these damn RPS. You are. Right. This is a bit of an interesting decision, actually. I will go first. All right, man. Sounds like a plan to me. This Best may, of luck to This you. may be obvious from the people watching, but my deck choice, it's actually a tough call. I'd be curious to see what people want to do. Uh, this hand's fine. All right, buddy. Good luck. Main one, I am going to go with a, not a T set, a V set, U set. I don't know what you're going to call it, but <laughs> set three pass. Go ahead. Good enough to me, bro. I'm sorry. My hand's insane, dude. I'm going to pot a greed and I'm going to opt to draw the two. Uh, uh, you're good. Oh, yes. Too deep. Um, let me get a peek at what you got there, buddy. Pot of greed, comfy. Uh, you're going to know what I'm up to. That's for sure. All right. Oh, the dragons They're are back, back, baby. Yeah. They're back. I'll say it, though, bro. This deck is some hot garbage. I am not worried about it. You can definitely get rid of your pesky little miracle dragon. Okay, sure. Leave you a little short on some dudes there. I am going to summon the ghost destroyer. He's destroying. And I'm going to get in there for 18. Ah, uh, we'll ring him. Let's get him out of here. Oh, all right, man. Early ring, no problem to me. Both take 18. Sounds okay. Um, I will go main phase two. Worst case scenario, that's Jar, but you're not going to play Jar in an aggro deck. I'll just pass to you, bud. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Uh, it's Sangin. Nothing too crazy. Okay. Yeah. I'll for right. a thousand, though. A grand is okay with me. And second main, I will go ahead and set one. I'll throw it to you. All right. Draw. Stand by me. All right. I'll set one. I'll set another. And uh, it's your move. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Let's take a peek. It is Reaper. Reaper, huh? That's kind of annoying. Uh, second main, I'll just throw down another. Over to you. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by me. Uh, I'll summon the warrior lady. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm glad to hear she's okay. She's going to get in for 15 over your saying. That she will. Would you like to banish? Yeah, I'd like to banish. Okay. You know what? Get rid sure. of them. All right. And then your move, man. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Of course. Typical. Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> 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 All right, draw stand by main. Boom, my man's in attack position. Let's go for three. Um, you gotta, you gotta use something on him, bro. I know you ain't giving up one of these. It's not pretty. Uh, yeah, we'll compulse him. Oh, okay. Uh, it, well, <laughs> he only gets destroyed after resolving a card effect, but he ends up back it's true. in my hand. It is so true. he's definitely gonna stick around there, and uh, I will opt to set a card. Could be anything. Could be literally anything, bro. Wow. This is uh, not pretty. I will set two, and I will throw it to you. Oh, my goodness. I will draw. I will go stand by phase, main phase. I'll activate Thunder Dragon, and I'll opt to get two more. Okay. Cool. One and two. All right. Uh, I'll flip up Magical Merchant. No response here. Donk. Okay. Donk. Okay. Hey, I'll take an MSD. It's fine. Good shot. Let's see here. All right, all right, I'm going to summon Spear Reaper, and I'll go battle. Sure. Two. Two's fine. You want to lose that last card in your hand? <sighs> it's a tough call. I don't think I want to lose the last card in my hand. Uh, this is so annoying. I'm going to compulse him again. Hey, <laughs> back he goes. All right, I'll go main phase two. I'll set one. I'll set another. Your move, buddy. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Go to main one, six in hand. I know you have double Thundra, Reaper, and I believe three cards that I do not 
No. Let's run out Mask Dragon. Okay. I'm going to stamping this one. I'll chain it. It is Raigeki Break. I'll pitch Thundra and pop the mast. That is fine. Well, uh, that's it for me. <laughs> Dope. I'll draw. Stand my main. Um, I am going to summon Sukiyomi to flip Magical Merchant. Ooh, this is pretty nasty. Yeah. Yeah. I'll flip up the Merchant. And yeah, Merchant. We'll merch. Oh my God. Whatever. Nice. Okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'll take bottomless. We'll go battle. 13. 2 and 11. I'll take them both. Um, I will set one. I will go to my end phase. I'll put the suit back. Okay. Dust the bottomless. Okay. That's fine. Okay. I'll draw brain control. Oh, all right. He's yours. What are you going to do with him? Sacking him. Okay. Big boy. Hey, there he is. All right. 24. 24 is fine. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I will draw. Actually, Still I'll back. set one too. I know you have reaper. Oh, uh, well, then I'll space it during the end phase. Oh, okay. It was dark hole. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Cool. I'll go my main phase. Yep. All right. We'll go. Chaos Sork. Light. Yes, sir. Yeah. We've been holding Figure. it since turn one. We'll go into the Sork. Just holding on to way too many monsters. I think you had at least one of them in your hand. Yeah, man. Uh, Sork Banish. Yep. He's gone. Uh, Kaiku. Bow sure. 18. That is game. Yep. Well, I mean, I couldn't attack with a Sork, but. I, 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 was probably probably <laughs> yeah, I was probably dead. I was probably dead. I was probably dead. All right. Swift game. Well, Gage, uh, I was convinced you were going to play the Pac-Man deck again, and I guess I'm getting, I don't want to say punished for it, but I don't think this is obviously the ideal deck to be playing against it. Yeah, no, I, I got to keep you on your toes. You know, we got enough cards in our pool to consistently switch around strategies. So I'm going to bounce between a couple different decks that I have. It's not quite reversal quiz, I know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but but I feel like this is just the most well-rounded deck I have, so I don't have a problem going back to it. Makes sense. I feel like I could have done things differently that last game. I could have brain-controlled Spirit Reaper uh, the turn you started attacking with it, so I just didn't have to waste the compulses. And I also went like four turns without a summonable monster, which was annoying, and your life points were pretty low. So I think there could have been a few things that could have gone my way, and I guess I'll go first. You also started Pot of Greed Comfy, which sucked. That, that was uh, a, so. It was a little bit ridiculous, <laughs> I'll say, but uh, best of luck to you this turn, dude. We'll see All what right. you can do. Sounds good, buddy. Best of luck to you as well. I will start with a humble set and we'll just pass. Just a dude is good for me. I'll draw, stand by main. I'll go into the tomato and we'll just there he is. Let, let me get a peek at what it is, bud. Masked dragon. Good for me. You get to special one dragon. That gonna is get the baby. Oh, there he is. Oh man, you're gonna get the big guy. All right, I'll go main phase two. We'll set one, pass. Okay, drop, stand by. We leveling up. Uh, you can level up. That's good. All right, I hate it because he's uh, in my hand. Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> Get him out of there. All right, cool. All right, main one. Stamp the back row. Cool. I'll chain it. Uh, and I'll pop the uh, the arm dragon. Uh, I guess I'm getting punished. Should have used the effect first, but I didn't think it was Regeki break. Uh, that's fine. Got tomato. Oh, I take 500 for your stamp. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, let's see. Let's bring out a new dude. Let's bring out the behemoth. Hey, there he is. Yeah, good looking yeah, guy. Yeah, I right. got one. I'll take 100 we'll and the then we'll get my tomato search. How about that? Sounds good. Sounds like a plan to me. Who am I bringing out? Who's coming to the front? All right. Well, it looks like my guy, Witch of the Black Forest, is going to make a little bit of appearance here. Sure. Uh, that's all I got. Go oh, ahead. I'll draw. Stand by phase, main phase. Let's get a little shifty here. We'll put the witch in defense, and I'll add another person there. We'll throw a back row in the mix. It's your move. Okay, uh, we'll draw. Let's run out Luster Dragon. Yep, big 19. Uh, let's hit to Witch. Um, I will allow it. Uh, I'll get my Witch Search. What are you getting? Um, off of Witch of the Black Forest, I'm going to pick up big guy here. We're going to pick up Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch. He is quite big. We'll hit with Luster. Uh-oh, it's Spirit Reaper. Not that There he is. <laughs> I figured you would have maybe gotten him but uh, off the tomato, but which is fine as well. Uh, all right, Zaborg's coming down. That's pretty right, bad. I'll go ahead. Stand by main. Nice aggro deck, bro. I'm going to throw down the Zaborg. Pop the Luster. It's down. Battle phase, get in there. Take the nine. Yes, sir. Main phase two, add another one. Your move. Okay. Lust, or, uh, not Luster Dragon. Twin-Headed Behemoth comes back. Yep. Excuse thousand me. a thousand. Little dinky dude now. Once per duel, buddy. <laughs> Once per duel. That is so annoying. I will set and pass. <laughs> I love to see it. All right, I'll draw. Standby phase, main phase. All good. Just going to go right to the battle, bro. Um, Bringing the battle to you. I'll put the face down and... Uh, There's disarray. a Sangin. All right, you can get a search. No problem. Let's grab a Mask Dragon. Oh, all right. 
So scary. All right, your turn, bud. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, that, that might help. Uh, nah. This fucking card. <laughs> what are we banning nah, this shit? Like... Oh, my God. Nah, all right, cool. Terrible. <laughs> all right, yeah, same as before. All Go right, ahead. We'll keep it moving. Stand by main. I'll take seven for the uh, IO to keep it up. That you will. Yep. Uh, Big breaky. Okay. <laughs> hey, let's go. Battle phase. I'll put the uh, the Zaborg into the unknown. It is the Mass Dragon. That's Shocker. Fine. I will get Mass Dragon. Okay. Um, I'll kill your Twin Headed. He's down. Nice. Uh, we'll just go to end. Go ahead, bud. Draw. For all the fucking good that card's gonna do me. Breaker is nineteen. Yikes. Guess what? We opened both arm dragon You're level fives. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. We're so good. Hit breaker. Um, Sakuretsu arm. <laughs> yeah. No shot. All, All right. right. I'm so dead. Dude. Me oh too. my god. What are you thinking? I swear. I swear. All of this is hinging on me not popping tomato before committing to the stamping. <laughs> I swear. Because then you wouldn't have had the fucking tribute fodder. Oh um, my god. Pop the back row. Yeah, it's comfy for all the yeah, fucking good that's no gonna doubt. do. All right. uh, I'm putting a big 4K, bro. Yeah, I'll take it. Nice. Main two, we'll add another set. <laughs> Go. I don't know. I mean, that's it's about what I would expect. Jesus smoked, bro. Oh yeah. my God. I'll set a pair. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll draw. Stand by main. Um, can't add another dude to it yet, but we'll just go battle. Uh, I'll right. put the uh, I'll put the Zaborg into the face down. Sure. Nice. And then 16. I'll take it. Nice. I'm not dead. I'm very yep. close, You're but dead. I'm not dead yet. Did I, I, I? Yeah, I paid the seven. I've been paid. You paid the, the seven. seven. Yeah, Doesn't I'm dead. Matter. You got it. Good you got it. <laughs> what oh, the hell my are these, God. Bro? Yeah, it's nothing. Jeez, it's nothing. What were you thinking? I, what was I thinking? If you played the other deck, you fucking lost it, easily. I had like 10 cards that popped all your stupid ass floodgates. So there was no shot you were winning. I thought you were going to just double back on it. So nope. I got, that's like what I, I said, got to keep you on your toes, bro. And there we go. The chaos yeah. deck. This performed exactly how I wanted it to. I, I changed a little bit of uh, the ratios, added a couple dudes, changed a couple trap cards. This worked. This worked clean, bro. I owe you. I, then it again, was I clean. I sw I'm still convinced. What would you have done if I popped tomato before I stampinged when you write Gecky break? Like, what do you do with that? I didn't know your hand well, in that position. Uh, granted, you would pop the tomato, which is huge. However, you lose specifically a monster with Arm Dragon, right? Yeah. So uh, I do lose a monster, yes. Yeah, so I mean, um, that's a lot of value on her your hands. That technically gives me like another turn or two to get something because it's like, unless you keep top decking dudes, I feel like I'd be pretty safe. Did I you don't already think have I Reaper? In hand yeah i had reaper in hand okay so the reason why i feel like it was a huge swing was because you searched zaborg off the witch which you yeah. got off the tomato so at that point you wouldn't have had zaborg access and zaborg is where it turned arm dragon level five sucks for a multitude of reasons but the main reason why he sucks is because the monster you can pop has to have attack equal to or less than the monster you send to the graveyard yeah, yeah. so you can't do, like it doesn't just pop a monster it's conditional and funny enough i didn't have another arm dragon level five in hand which would have been ideal for that one instance where I'm trying to pop a Zaborg, and I didn't see any of my traps. I, you look in my graveyard, I didn't see a single trap this whole nope. game. I'm not playing that many of them, but I had triple Saku, double smashing. I had like dark, I had removal. I mean, you had IO for smashing, but I had things to at least just like clear Zaborg. Just didn't see it, but I really think it had, I could have at least forced the game three in that mm -hmm. situation. The deck obviously is inferior to chaos. I will give it that, but 90, 10 win rate against fucking Pac-Man. So yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, to me, I figured that was going to be your call. I made a meta call. I got fucking punished. And so here we are. How was Shadow of Infinity? I, I got Uriah. I did too. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I got, honestly, I got everything I wanted. I got Uriah. Well, I didn't even want Uriah. I was about to say, you wanted Uriah? <laughs> no, I got, I got a Karma Cut and I got a Tree okay. Frog. And that's like all I wanted from the set. So I, I'm That's like what I got too. Enough. I got a Karma. I got two Tree Borns, which are kind of useless, but you know, one's enough. I, oh man, I pulled like 10 Super Rares. I didn't pull a single Demise. Yeah. I was very upset about that. <laughs> I get you. Uh, what i guess i'll be nice i did get demise but i did okay not, but i mean I to be fair play. one demise isn't enough first of all yes you need multiple secondly uh, i was hoping if i won this episode which apparently was never happening that if i spun a wild card on the wheel i could have gotten a second demise and third i couldn't play demise this episode anyway because we don't have advanced ritual art exactly. until we get to strike of neos thing. yep yeah. so once yeah. you get strike so. of neos that does actually open up demise otk with another card from the set which was doom dozer if you get doom dozer mega yep. morph up the doom dozer after you clear with 
demise, that is exactly eight. So I did uh, not pull any Doom Dozer I either. I pulled a so. singular Doom Dozer, so I don't I don't think you got to worry about demise yeah. OTK. But um, there's yeah. too many cards we need for yeah, it. Sadly, yeah, yeah. Uh, reprint sets maybe though, because with reprint sets in the mix, I forget when Doom Dozer gets reprinted. I, don't I know think it's Doom Dozer in... gets one until way later. Actually, I think no, it's like I... DR2. It's one of the, I don't even know. Well, we've already done DR2, so it might be DR4. Uh, I know DR4. it's also a set that we also get to open is a gold series, and it's in there, yeah. too. Uh, yep. uh, so there is actually several shots at Doom Dozer. I don't think maybe as many for Demise, but uh, I guess we'll have to see. So, buddy, laying on me. What was the wheel? <laughs> for my triumphant return to okay. the winner's circle, I rolled myself a wild card common, my man. Oh, hell yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> I anything was so relevant to pick up no what do you what do you think i could have got <laughs> bro i was so mad i was like i spent 10 weeks fucking in the loser circle hell and this is what i i was like what did i do to deserve this so i, I it's a little bit of a reprieve man i got a winning streak yeah, going hopefully thank better God. luck next time in all fairness i will say half the wheel for this episode sucked because Jaden and chaz were the cards you were gonna pull yep, from yeah so even if you got like an ultra or a super you weren't getting anything yeah. good yeah i was really right. looking for like the the big ones like the band ticket the unbanned yeah. ticket the snatch yeah. steal uh the starlight any of the ones that are gonna like give me a huge edge up but at least i get another stab at them uh next week here yeah fortunately for you you do get another stab at it and uh hopefully we get to dodge it again and you'll get another common and we can uh, breathe a <laughs> sigh of relief that's my that makes one of us <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shadow1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Tim 0 x 3 MBT Play, Medulce, Ike Iron Fang, Chaotic Meatball, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Synchro Guy, I Ship, MBT, and Simo, Draconic, Rockslide, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Phoenix the Immortal, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretch, John Tubase, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, MBT Caught Injecting his Fairy Lily, Matthew Brady, Max, the War Rock Investments Janitor, Valen Jackson, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Aren't You Glad I Didn't Say, Alpha Tribute, Benten, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, The Anti Big Brain, Ben K, OTK Play, Simping for Simo, Mike Ty, Stolfin Amethyst, Tyler H, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGMBTQ, Nim Noodle, Malabranch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed or Boyfriends, MBT Cancel by All Community Soon, Cancel by All Committee Soon, Cancel by All Players Soon, not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The Undertaker versus CMO and MBT. Wait, play the concert video one more time. Hunter Reed, TTV Shrugs IX, Cayman CJ, ITF, to Arc Echo, and Corvain. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.